Hey, honey, are you almost ready? They're gonna be here any minute. Yeah, I'm ready. That was the first time and the last, actually, that I ever offered to take Jason and a date in my dad's truck. <laughs> oh, speaking of dads, happy Father's Day, Ty. Thank you. Oh, yeah, congratulations. What is this, like your guys' 12th child? This would be our fourth, Jason. Speaking of which, you guys trying? Okay, why is it that when a couple has a child, you immediately want everyone else to join in like your misery club? No, 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 no. Once you have your first kid, you're gonna ask yourself why you waited so long. You are. Their gift. Guess who's coming back into town? Who? D. <gasps> really? <laughs> no. Oh my god, I haven't seen her since high school. When's she coming back? Three days. Wow. Oh, it'll be so good to see her. I think it'll be magical. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you could say that. <laughs> so how's work treating you? Oh, I've been trying to get to work from home, but I'm afraid my boss is gonna let me. I gotta prove to him that I can work without direct supervision. Ah. Uh, that way I can get more creative freedom with my sketches. I don't think you have anything to be nervous about. You're usually the most talented artist I know. These new? Yeah, some of them. Jason, these are amazing. What's this one for? My boss is looking for, for new ideas for comics. It's kind of based on a story that my dad used to tell me. Anyways, you know, that's a long story. <laughs> so how's the uh, work going for you? Uh, <laughs> you know, the layoff is treating us pretty rough, but um, yeah, we're hanging in there. Well, if things get tight, don't hesitate to ask for help. Good to know. I mean, just not for me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Oh, so good to see you. It's good to see you too. I'll see you guys later. Okay, drive safe. Will do. Bye. So, I was thinking that maybe we could get started a little early. Oh boy. You got the mom bug now? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay, how early? Well, if you worked from home, then we could both work after it's born. And we could start right away. So I'd be the stay-at-home dad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd come home from work and the house would be clean. And you'd have made dinner, wearing an apron, holding a baby. And some thigh highs. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Not old my kid. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to my boss. I'll see what I can do. Yeah. Is this really what you want? Why did you ask him out? You knew he was going to say no because you're so ugly. Nobody's ever going to want to be with you. You're never going to have a serious relationship. And you're going to die. Alone. Fear? I want to commend you on doing such an outstanding job with the male's mind. Oh, I know who we're talking about. I've had a good time with him. <laughs> and I am promoting you over the entire house. Now, I want you to assemble a small team to gather information. Then you'll receive further instructions. Why well, is any kind of recon necessary? Just do it. Look, Wormwood, just let me in the house. I can penetrate much- Shut up! You do not question me. If it weren't for me, you would still be working below the surface. And I can send you back there instantly. Fear. 
you are not indispensable. Now, assemble your team. So what is the verdict? Oh my god, is this all you ever want to talk about? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there is more to life than children. Not after you have them. <laughs> what is it that scares you? Uh, the whole human coming out of a human concept is pretty creepy. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is very gross. <laughs> Stop stalling, tell me. Tell me, what is it that scares you? I guess it's the permanence of it. I mean, once that thing pops out, there's no going back. Do you consider your marriage permanent? Absolutely. Okay. So what is it about that life commitment that you have no qualms about? Because I want Jessica to be happy. So now all you need to do is ask yourself, will Jessica be more fulfilled as a mom? It's checkmate, by the way. I don't know if you noticed that. Can I help you? Yes, I need to see Mr. Phillips. Okay, do you have an appointment? No, but this is urgent. I'm sorry, Mr. Phillips doesn't take walk-ins. You'll have to make an appointment. <laughs> But this is very important. Is there a problem here? Yes, this lady won't let me see Mr. Phillips. Well, Mr. Phillips doesn't take walk-ins, sir. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Will you please shut that thing up? Sir, you need to calm down. <laughs> How can you tolerate this in a place of business? This is a place of business. Our business. And we love babies here, even crying ones. What we don't tolerate is people belittling our front desk staff. And why don't you get out of here before I call security? Oh, don't worry about it. You guys are fine. Oh, he is so beautiful. Thanks. What's his name? Porter. Porter. Hi, Porter. May I hold him? Yeah. Thank you. Hi, Porter. Hello, big boy. What are you waiting for? I'm just not sure about this. This was your idea. You told Jessica you'd call your boss. What if I stick my neck out there and it doesn't work? Manning up is never easy. You just have to do it. Can you look at me? Nothing comes to the man who waits. Make the call. What have we here? Just a little picnic. You said you skipped lunch. <laughs> yeah, I'm starving. What are we having? Um, my masterpiece, mm -hmm. PB and J. Yum. <laughs> I thought I'd try the whole stay at home thing, see if I'm cut out for it. Well, so far you've done fantastic. Thank you. Are you just trying to butter me up so you can get lucky later? I'm not trying to get lucky. I'm trying to get you. Is that my wifely duty? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Mm-hmm. Well, that and cooking and working, paying the bills, doing the dishes. Mm, I think you can do the dishes cooking thing. Do you really want to eat BB and J every night? No. No. <laughs> oh, God, I hate watching people. Did you find what you were looking for in her office? No. Nope. Well, nothing worth taking advantage. Of course you didn't. Come on, man. You sent in anxiety to do what I told you to do. Man, if you want something done, you've got to do it yourself. You can't send in anxiety. He stands out. He sucks at reconnaissance, man. Stiff. I'm sorry, what? I think you should take your own advice. You should just shut up. Pay attention. <sighs> Nelly Whites. Tell me about it. Makes me sick. Then why are we here? We're here because we're ordered to be here. Oh yeah? Where do you take yours from? Wormwood? <laughs> man, I report directly to fear. Wormwood's a middleman. It's pure corporate BS. <laughs> He's all talk and no do. He used to be just like you and me, working the surface. They used to call him confusion. Yeah, wonder what he did to get ahead. Man, there's only one way to get ahead. <laughs> oh, I talked to my work today. Yeah? You're looking at Mr. Mom. Hey! Is 
that mean you're ready to start trying? Right away. Okay. Race you. <laughs> hey. Tell Lucian to come here. He's gonna wanna see this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. If we bring him out here, he's gonna get seen. Oh, don't worry about it, man. He'll thank us. Just get him here. <laughs> this is sacred, and you're not welcome here. I can do anything I want. Come on, please, just uh, let me watch. You think you can see him? Who cares to drive? Just go, go! Just drive silly, go! You leave her alone! can't do anything. Honey, I know that you can't control your dreams, but you can't let them bother you. Look at me. See, I'm fine. Yeah, I know. Okay. Come to bed. Here you go, son. Happy birthday. Thank you. What should I draw? Draw whatever you see. What if I don't see anything special? You will. I guarantee it. Good job today. Well, I happened to be in the neighborhood. But that was unusual for him to approach the house carelessly like that. Yeah. You're not the first one to spot them here. The enemy has their eye on this house. Have they been adopted? A long time ago. The fire is still there, if not dying slowly. Why are they hovering here? We don't know. What we do know is that he has an incredible gift, but right now the gift is tainted. Tainted by what? It's your job to find out. Me? No, I don't think I'm the right one for this. You're completely qualified. No, I mean the timing. Joshua, I know you're in line for promotion. You would have been there already I if don't... The... I know what I did. Normally, I'd send a rookie to do this. But this house is very special. This is not your average watch duty. Just hang in there until we find out more. I'll send Daniel to assist you. I'll keep you posted. Joshua. Do not get sidetracked. Stay focused on this house. You can call me Dee. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is Jason. You have a lovely home. Oh, let me give you a tour. Okay. Mm. And this is the office. 
and this is where Jessica and Jason are making babies. Sarah. You didn't tell me you were starting a family. We're currently trying. Oh, that's so fantastic. I hope it happens quick. Me too. Although, as I recall, when we were kids, it was predicted that Sarah would have the big family first. <laughs> and she is. And I do. <laughs> oh. oh, hey. I didn't know you guys still were into this stuff. Have you been meeting? No, no. I just keep those around because they remind me of you guys. Yeah, not since you left. We miss you. Oh, you guys are so great. Well, who's hungry? Ooh, oh, me. Yeah, me too. Let's Starving. Go. Let's go make lunch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you remember what our first fight was about? I don't know what we did after the fight. <laughs> Come on, I'm serious. Do you remember what it was about? Oh yeah, we were shopping for furniture mm -hmm. and you wanted to get a really cheap, tacky porcelain angel as a decoration. <laughs> yeah, because I grew up with one in the living room. Do you remember what you said to me? Yes. Say it. I said we didn't need it because it was stupid. That's not what I want to hear. What else did you say? I said that <laughs> we didn't need it mm -mm. because you're my angel. Do you still feel that way? Absolutely. Let me be clear. After the way your team screwed up as badly as it did, you shouldn't be here. But the irony is that now the house is guarded. And you have gone from being a liability to an asset. Since you own the male's mind, you are the ticket in. Ticket into what? Plans have changed. Commander is personally interested in this house. And you are now a critical element. What do I have to do with it? Take the female's mind, like you have the male's. That's impossible. There's no way I Did can get near that. Did you hear me? You are but one piece of a grander operation. You'll have one window of opportunity. One shot at the female's mind. Make her fear the future rest fall into place. Succeed in this and I will uh, overlook your failure. Don't worry about me. I'm not the one that's gonna fail. So why is Commander so interested in this house anyway? What makes them so important? So special? I don't know. But this is huge. Be ready. Oh yeah, it's true, I was dating her sister first. <laughs> but you're leaving yeah. out the best part of the story. Jess actually talked Lisa out of seeing me. Oh. She said uh, that I was no good for Lisa and that she could do much better than me. I didn't mean a word of it and I only said that so I could get my hands on him. <laughs> Ends justify the means. In this case, yeah. We're all better off. Mm -hmm. So when did you start dropping hints to your sister about breaking up? As soon as I met Jason. Really? The whole time? You obviously don't know us very well. What you don't understand is that we will stop at nothing to get what we want. <laughs> it's amazing what goes on behind the scenes. Sometimes I think all we ever see is surface. And we don't keep secrets from each other anymore. Honey, I need you to listen. Okay, this is random. 
I need you to open your eyes. Yeah, he just fell out of his chair and hit the back of his head. Uh, no, I'm all right. I'm all right. <sighs> Never mind. He's fine. Thanks. You have pretty hard. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Yes. Well, I hate to turn this into a hit and run, but I should be going. Aww. Thank you so much for inviting me in. Thank you so much for coming. You'll have to stay longer next time. Absolutely. Yay. <laughs> Bye. Take care of yourself. Yeah. You sure you're okay? Mm-hmm. Certainly open to more practice. <laughs> Give me a son. Honey, yeah, of course. Give me a son. <laughs> oh, I'm tired of this. Oh, bad dream. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna make the call. No, not yet. We're still trying. Just give it time. It's gonna work out. Having kids is the best thing I ever did. So you wouldn't have uh... the number of that one specialist you recommended about the uh, the dreams I was having. Yeah. Why are they back? Yeah. Hi, Dad. Watch some pay per view. Yeah, fine. Whatever. Go ahead. Can you send me his info again? Yeah, not a problem. I'll send it to you right now. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. I mean, work wonders for me. And you know, what I said earlier about, you know, talking, if you want to talk, I'm, I'm here. Thanks. Oh my god, Ty, you're sitting right I gotta go. there! I gotta go. Joshua? Yeah, that's me. Daniel, I've been assigned to work under you. I have a seat. Relax. You ever been on watch duty before? No, never. It's about 98% boredom. Most of the time, our presence alone is enough to keep the enemy away. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just, I feel dumb saying just it. Just spit it out. Well. I've heard so much about you. Not much to get excited about. Are you kidding me? You are the Joshua. You slew 300,000 Assyrians in one night. <laughs> well, I mean, they were sleeping. Well, I'm still impressed. To be honest, what are you doing on the surface anyway? You're doing watch duty. You're way beyond this. I made some mistakes. Really? Like what? You should follow him. Yes, sir. I thought you'd like to know that I'm starting a family. And I'm completely terrified. I haven't told anyone about you. And I hope that uh, my child doesn't get what you gave to me. I'm going to renounce this. And I'm going to leave it here with you where it belongs. Can I help you? Me? Yeah, you. No. Uh, I'm fine, thank you.
He went to the cemetery, he visited his father. That's good to know. He saw me. What do you mean he saw you? He saw me, he looked right at me, he, he even talked to me. That's impossible. Humans can't see us unless we let them. He saw me. No way. You must have been sitting on a cat or something and thought he was looking at you. No way. Do you ever wonder what it's like to be a father? Not just that, but all aspects of that relationship. To bond with another. We're bonding. Yes, I value our friendship, but it's a little- It's different, I know. They remind me of him. When I see them together, loving each other, I can see how, well anyway. That's why I love my job. That's why I'd rather be here than any other place. Every time I see them, I learn something new. That's it. I can't dance around this topic anymore. What is it you did? What did you regret so much? I got cocky and then lazy. I let divination take over our house. Okay, so you're not the perfect one. Why is that so bad? Divination isn't like the others. It's a gateway. Once invited into a house, all the others are let in. The dam bursts. After that, it's over and done. Why, why would they invite that in? Let me put it this way. If you wanted to poison someone, but they had to take it themselves, what kind of box would you put it in? A box of chocolates? Exactly. And people don't want to engage in self-destructive behavior. Humans want to live long, happy lives, but they still do things to hurt themselves. Why? They are deceived. Divination is the most deceptive of all. Not even we can see it. So then Joshua, what do we do? I'll let you know when I figure it out. If we meet again, I'm gonna make sure divination remembers me for all eternity. Why do you find that thing so fascinating? It's insulting. Do they really think we look like this? Some do. <sighs> That's ridiculous. Look at that dress. And the harp? Come on. Some people cannot see. Honey, are you okay? I think there's something coming. Why? What'd you see? Lock all the doors, lock all the windows, and, and wait up in the bedroom. Honey, you're scaring me. Just do it! Joshua. Yes. I see them.
you impress? Not yet. What's that? Just do it! I'm a mentor and then hopelessly outnumbered. Good. <laughs> the house is safe. What is it? Something's wrong. Stay here and clean up. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm just making friends with Jessica. For what purpose? I'm afraid I don't know. Believe me, I'd love to tell you, given your record for dropping the ball. Nobody tells me anything, but I know it's huge. And it's going full speed ahead, thanks to you. Leave this house now. Oh no, she chose me. She chose fear. She welcomed me in. And there's nothing you can do to break past free will. Nobody likes you in their head. They'll reject you soon enough. Funny thing about people is, they're always trying to kill God. If they worry and fear, then that means that they're in control. And if they're in control, they don't need anything else. No. This is my house now. I'm not crazy. 
I just want to put that out there. I'm here because Ty gave me your number. Well, if you know Ty, then that certainly won't help your sanity. That was a joke. I'm sorry. I, I feel awkward here. I've never seen one of you. You know, a lot of people misunderstand what I do. You don't have to feel defensive. 90% of my job is listening. But you scheduled this, so you must have something on your mind. Why are you here? Okay, um, well, for a while now, I've been having nightmares, usually something involving my wife. But lately, I've been seeing things during the day, and it's terrifying me. Such as? I think there's people out there to get me and my family. Only they don't look like people. Well, I mean, sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. Uh, but it seems like they want to do us harm. And then sometimes I think that there's people guarding our house like they want to keep us safe. Jason, unfortunately, you didn't book enough time today. On your way out, schedule another session and make sure it's longer than 15 minutes. Okay, well, can't you just tell me that I'm not crazy? That sometimes this is normal? I told you that. Then I'd be lying. No, leave. Now, leave him alone! Dad, who are you talking to? So you finally saw the quick. You knew you were headed nowhere. I'm afraid you're doomed to repeat your father's failures. I'm afraid you're destined to fail as an artist. Fail as a husband. Fail as a father. Let me tell you, I've been so frustrated with my work. Why? Well, some people that I supervise simply cannot get their act together. Yeah. I mean, I'm asking them to do the most basic things, and for the past few days, they just keep making more fires that I have to put out. Well, could you fire them? Mm, I would love to, but we have this big deadline looming, and this current project is very important to me, so. In the meantime, I'm just gonna have to intervene and get the job done myself. Oh, well, if the project's that important to you, maybe it's good that you're involved. Mm, maybe you're right. So, how are things with you and Jason? Oh, everything's good so far. Though I have been really worried about Jason. You know, not only are his dreams keeping him awake at night, but now, this is just between you and me, okay? Yeah. Yesterday, he started seeing things when he was awake. Okay. And at first, I blew it off, but last night I started thinking about it, and it's got me really concerned. I mean, what if he's starting to lose his mind? I mean, that won't be good for a baby. I can't bring a child into that. Whatever you do, you cannot stress about this. You can't stress during your pregnancy. You're right. Yeah. Everything's gonna be okay, right? We've been waiting for this for way too long. I'm very happy for you. You're um, very blessed to have a child. T, are you okay? I'm fine, I'm fine. Um, I'm really happy for you, I really am. I just wish that I was as blessed as you are. D. Hey, you're gonna find somebody. <laughs> no, it's not like that. Well, then what is it? I'll, um, I'll never be able to have children. <gasps> Dee, I'm so sorry. Well, don't feel too bad. It's, it's nothing new. I've known about it my whole life. You know, I hate giving bad news, so, um, I would rather give you this. Oh. Dee, you didn't have to give me a present. Thank you. 
<laughs> Dee, I don't know about all this spirituality stuff. I'm kind of come out of this, you know? Well, I'll tell you what. Just hang on to it. You never know. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's a lovely gift. Thank you. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Okay. Why are we here? I just need to pick something up real quick. I'll only be a second. Very cute place. Thanks. since high school. <laughs> Anything you've sold out. Then why'd you stop? Oh, I never took any of this stuff seriously. You should. What? I think you should take it very seriously. This stuff has had a direct impact on removing nightmares from my life. It's just psychological, D. This stuff isn't real. Jess, it isn't just real. It's more real than the physical realm. And there's invisible forces around us all the time. And some people can tap into it and change things. You have that gift. I can see it in your eyes. I've spoken of your success. Commander is very pleased. My pleasure. So pleased, in fact, that after this assignment, you'll have your pick of the operations. That's okay. I think I'll stay here. Stick with the mail. Why? You can go anywhere in Commander's region. I mean, there are dozens of cities, large territories. Look, I don't know what the Commander's got planned. Nobody tells me anything, but I know that it's huge. I want to stick around to see it. Besides, I've got the mail almost frozen with fear. He can hardly sleep at night. He is so paranoid of becoming his father, and now that he's going to have a child, the threat is so very near. His mind in the present is ruining his future, and I want to see how far I can take it. <laughs> Your dedication is inspiring. I just want to see him squirm, ruin his potential, watch him waste his life wishing he could be good enough, never amounting to his real worth. Seeing him go to his grave, never accomplishing anything. <laughs> I love to sit in a good graveyard. I love knowing that underneath every stone is a pile of flesh that never reached its potential, never honored the gift. Sometimes, I think they are more evil. Why? 
They're all so weak, so easily swayed. They don't know how lucky they are. Half the time, I don't even have to talk to them. Get inside their head. They create filthier thoughts than I could, than I could ever, ever plant. I hate them. Oh my god, I hate, hate them. May our father live forever. May they take our place. May man burn in hell forever. Fear. This family will burn because of you. Wormwood, I think you should watch tonight. I have a special dream play for Jason. Hold off on tonight. Just leave him alone. This comes straight from Commander. Tonight, just don't touch him. But Commander's actually here? If you could arrange a meeting... You can meet Commander when I permit you. We'll see. Good book? Yeah, it's really good. I got up in the middle of the night last night because I wanted to read. So it's got a grip on you, huh? Oh. Did you sleep good? I did. Oh, real good. What? You okay? Yeah, I never felt better. Okay. I love you. Love you too. So how's the pregnancy? Oh, I've got cramping. Oh, do you? Well, yeah. that's awful. Yeah, I got to sleep on my side. Oh, really? You do, huh? Hurts. So how's Jessica then? Ah, <laughs> uh, she's craving. Mm. If I have to look at another pickled anchovy pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Odd food makes for healthy children. Believe you me. Mm. But don't worry, oddity is not hereditary, so you are fine. Let me rephrase, your children are going to be fine. <laughs> well, I hope my child isn't exactly like me, and there's a lot of things I don't want to pass on. Oh, no, 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 Jason, don't worry, your kids aren't going to look like you. It's okay, <laughs> Jessica's got you covered. I'm thinking between Jessica's looks, your brains, your kid's pretty sad. Yeah, maybe. Well, you don't want your kids getting your brains? 
So what about your father? What traits did you pick up from him? Uh, smarts? Yeah, smarts. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> I really hope you're not taking this too lightly. I do. It took me way too long to figure out just exactly how important I am to my kids. Fathers, especially fathers, so important. Everything we do affects who they are, how they act, what they do, their character. It's, I mean, not that there's any pressure, of course. You know, I'm not gonna lose any sleep over it. All right, some of the most evil people in history had wonderful parents. No matter what external forces try to influence our lives, in the end, we have free will. I couldn't disagree with you more. I completely disagree with you. Adults have free will. Adults do. Yes, they do. Kids, they don't. They don't get to choose their parents. They don't get to choose their upbringing. They, they, they can't control the emotional climate of their homes. They don't have that power. And children, adults for that matter, they're all controlled by outside influences. They are. And it... <laughs> I'm on a leash. Outside influences. Hello. Yes. Now we're playing chess. Yeah, I can do that. Jason, you need to stop staring at the girls, man. You're gonna creep them out. Rematch? Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Yes, 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 yes. You shouldn't have encouraged him. You know, that's funny coming from you. Don't ignore the obvious. He's drawing his bad dreams because of you. Don't even start now. Then, you need help, and you're getting worse. And if you don't get help, Jason's going to. Going to what? At least I care about his mental health and his well-being. Damn it, Hannah, don't you think I care about him, I too? I believe you did. Before you came, you need help. I don't need help! Joshua, are you aware of what's happening in the house? Yes. How did you let it get this far? Stephen, this has become a battle over the mind. If Jason can break free of fear, then the house can be won, but not before. Joshua, it's worse than you think. According to our latest intel, divination is behind all this. Look, cut your losses. Let Daniel take over. He's got nothing to lose. If you lose another house to divination, you'll lose everything you've worked so hard to attain. You're about to have what all the angels want. You're this close to dwelling with the perfect one in the inner circle. I'm asking you as your friend, don't ruin everything on this family. There's something special about the three of them. Three. The female's pregnant. Yes, and her name is Jessica. Joshua, you're not supposed to become attached. I'm not attached. I just know a good thing when I see it. Very well. I hate to do this, but your fate is now tied to theirs. I hope you know what you're doing. I brought some things to show you. I've been drawing what I see. I've been doing it since my dad passed away. So are these dreams or are these when you're awake? Those right there have been when I'm awake. Jason, is there a history of mental illness in your family? You're asking me that already? You're already assuming Such that... as your father? Okay, listen, Doc, I don't know who you think you are. Jason, we're ignoring the elephant in the room, only you think I don't see it. I thought your name looked familiar, so I did some research. My mentor counseled your father. My father was a great man. Yes, he was, but he also had his issues. Surprised you thought we could make progress here pretending he didn't exist. You can't deceive yourself. The truth is what matters here. You kept your father a secret from everyone? 
Why? Why are you ashamed of him? Because I don't want to become him. If I can make my past disappear, then I can create my own future. I can start with a clean canvas. Not by ignoring it. I thought you did mostly listening. I thought you were man enough to be straight with me. What do you remember about him? I remember that he was a brilliant man. And then towards the end of his life, he started to lose his mind. He would scream at walls. He would talk to thin air. Constant ramblings about the power of blood. I don't know, eventually he wouldn't leave the house. Everything he saw haunted him. The only thing that silenced the voices was the bullet he ended up putting in his head. According to police reports, there was an eyewitness. He didn't know I was there. That's an image I haven't been able to get out of my head, not for a single day. Jason, we inherit a lot from our parents. Not just genetics, but emotional traits and psychological traits. And others. You're experiencing what your father experienced. Whether you like it or not, you're becoming your father. Did you know that amid all the press and spin about him, he assisted the police in arresting four murderers? Well, I should say more than assist. As a prominent religious leader in the community, it was normal for him to listen and pray with the family members. But seeing the crime scene, your father told police the name and address of those that committed the crime. Right then and there, just spoke it out. How do you know this? You don't know because it was kept under wraps. Can you imagine what would happen if the public found out police got their tips from a paranoid schizophrenic? I asked, how do you know this? Jason. I believe what you have is a gift. Your father couldn't filter it either, and it drove him mad. I suggest that you start filtering the noise. I can't believe I'm hearing this. I, I, I'm turning into the psychopath my father is. The only thing I can think of is how to not pass this to my child, and you're telling me this is a good thing? Jason, when you first start to swim, you're gonna swallow some water. I suggest you exercise your mind and learn to filter the image. Fear wants to control you and stop you from becoming who you really are. What the hell psychiatric college did you go to? Yuri Geller University? This isn't Scooby-Doo, Doc. This is my life. Jess. What the hell is this? Yes, I was gonna tell you. Yeah, we've been together for six years, married for two. You told me your dad died in a car accident. Okay, fine. My dad blew his brains out. And I saw him do it there. I told you. You still want to play the victim? Why'd you keep this from me? Is this what's happening to you? Is this what your dreams are about? Listen, listen. There's nothing more. This is it. We just move on from this. No, Jason, you can't. You can't move on. You're obviously being haunted by it. This is why you didn't want to have kids. That's not fair. You think I like this? You think I think I want this? I hate what's happening to me. And the last thing that I need is for you to hate me, too. I don't hate you, Jason. I want to help you. You can't hide from this, Jason. Let me help you. I don't need your help. I think you need to leave. We need to talk. Hello? Dee, it's me. 
Jess, what's wrong? Uh, <laughs> Jason's dad is a paranoid schizophrenic who couldn't stop the voices in his head, so he killed himself. Jason never told you this? Oh my god. No, he told me his dad died in a car accident. Jess, I'm so sorry. I just don't know what to do, you know? His nightmares have, had stopped, and I thought things were getting better. This isn't all for nothing. We can still save Jason. He's just worse than we thought. But we can still we'll save him. What do we need to do? We need to dig a little deeper. Are you ready for that? Yeah. <sighs> it's not a deal breaker. You just need to give her some time to think about it, you know? She does love you. For real. You just need to let her work out how she feels about it, and then when you do, you're gonna be right back in the sack. I hope so. I don't even know why. I, I thought it would just disappear. <laughs> well, it didn't. I'm not gonna lie to you, you screwed up. I'm pretty bad, actually. You just need to give her some time, that's all. Dad, what are you doing? Come here, Jason. I need to tell you something. You can't talk to anybody about this. Okay. Our dad is, uh... Dad's getting sick. And some bad things are happening. So, why can't you go to the doctor? He can give you medicine to make it all better. I wish it was that simple. You may see me do some strange things, but no matter how I act, no matter what happens, I will always love you. Okay, Dad. No, leave. Now, leave him alone! Dad, who are you talking to? You don't need to worry about that. I just need to know that I'm doing everything I can to keep you safe. Everything's gonna be okay. Dad, are you leaving? Jason, one day I'll be gone. But when that happens, you'll have a new father. I don't want another dad. I love you. Don't leave, Dad. I don't want to leave. But trust me, your new father will be everything for you. He'll, he'll take you fishing. He'll always be there. He'll love you. I love you, Dad. Jason. I love you, too. I love you very much. But listen to me carefully. I need you to remember this. Meet your father at the tree. Can you remember that? And after you meet him, understand that blood finalizes everything. It's the most powerful thing. Now go to your room. I need to be alone. No! No, 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 leave him be! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it now! Get out of my life. Get out of my head. Leave me. Why don't you ruin me? Isn't that enough for you? Just leave. I am so proud of you. Not many people are willing to challenge themselves the way that you do. Well, what do we need to do? A blood covenant is required. What does that mean? You want me to, to cut myself? This will seal a covenant that's going to cure Jason. Use the palm of your hand and wipe it here and pronounce these words. Okay. What, is, what does it say? It's in Latin. Don't worry about saying it perfectly. Just open your heart to the words and pronounce it as best as you can. 
everything that needs to be done in the invisible realm will be done. With all due respect, Commander chooses whom she shall communicate with, and on her terms. She chooses, or you choose. I'm afraid I'm the one asset in this house. I'm the only reason Commander will ever have her way. In fact, I'm not even sure what you've actually accomplished for Commander in this house. Don't question my authority. In fact, I'm sure she's asking herself that very same thing right now. What good are you when I hold all the power in this house? What do you think you can do to me? I hold all the keys to this house. I'm afraid you can't touch me. Tell me, Wormwood. What is it you fear? You want to know who's behind all this? Yes. Divination. There. That wasn't so hard. Thank you. My queen, please understand my frustration with Wormwood. Why should your fate be any different? Because I believe I'm critical in taking this house and accomplishing your eventual goal in this family. Then what do you think that is? I honestly have no idea, but whatever it is, I want to be involved. You're the only one to ever defeat Joshua. That may be true but defeating angels will pale in comparison to what you will see me do with this family. It will start something like you've never seen before. Your ambitious fear. And you're dedicated. Very soon I will reveal my will to you. And it will change everything. Thank you, my queen. You may rise. You've served me well. So far, but I warn you, do not let your guard down. Your stronghold in the male's mind is the only thing protecting you from the enemy. Don't lose it. Otherwise, Joshua will have his way with you. Understood. Sure. sure I should be doing this. I, I, I don't know if I can go through this right now. Remember, you came to me. It's just like when we were kids, and you know the results are real. I know, but what Do if I... Do you want to lose your house? Your car? Just summon the spirits and everything will be fine.
What are you doing? I'm gonna ask you the same thing. Sarah, what the hell is going on? Leave her alone. Who the hell do you think you are? Get out of my house. I'm gonna tell you a little secret. <laughs> I am Kevination. Get the hell out of my house, you crazy witch! What are you doing to me? I want to put something on your mind. How's it doing? Not good. He just, he just started talking nonsense and yelling at walls and he ran out of the house in hysteria and then he got hit by a car. You okay? I don't know. It's worse than ever, Jason. I can't control my thoughts, they're everywhere. It's okay, they're not real. They are real, and they're coming for us. Ty. Jason, we're not imagining anything. They're real, and they hate us. You have to keep your family safe, Jason. You do, because they are coming for our children. Meet your father at the tree. Where did you hear that? There was a stronghold in my house, Jason in my house and I didn't see it and was keeping a gateway open and now they're flooding into a, every part of our lives. They're flooding into my head. Oh God, don't let this happen to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry this had to happen. Open your eyes, Jason. Queen, what about tonight? I have something special for him. Give him hell. Jason? Jason, wake up. Jason, wake up. Wake up, Jason, wake up. You're okay. Hey, you're okay. Oh, you're okay. Do whatever it takes to make sure you're okay. I promise. D, things have gotten worse. I'm willing to do anything to help Jason. What can I do? Have you finished reading the book? Yes. Then you're ready. Follow the instructions in the last chapter. Cast the last spell, and you will welcome the spirits into your house. Okay. My queen, may I ask you something? You may. Why are we here? I mean, why are we at this house? Why is this couple so special to deserve your attention? Humans have so much potential talent, even beyond our own, especially when they're united. Jason can see us, but Jessica, she can feel us. Can you imagine the power their child will have? It will practically live in both worlds. We cannot allow it. If it weren't for you tainting his visions and me tainting her sensitivity to the spirit realm, we'd be exposed. What about the kid? He chose them. Them. And not only adopting them in, but giving them a child of their own. If I could adopt just one, it'd be enough. I choose this one. 
You think she'll let you have it? She already has. No, you didn't. I've taken you here because we're at the apex of this conflict. I'm afraid I've failed you on many levels. What are you talking about? I believe you inherited gifts from your father, but your gifts are also tainted. How old were you when you saw your father kill himself? Twelve. Nobody witnesses that and goes away unscathed. Jason, when you saw your father die, fear entered your life. You were vulnerable and it passed from your father to you in the instant he died. Fear has controlled you ever since. You're letting fear blind you. You have the gifts of vision and foresight. Stop running from who you are. Open your eyes. You. Fear. You seem surprised. Get out of my head. Get out of my house and stay away from my family. I'm not going anywhere. Jason, your family needs you. You're free to go now. Like hell he is. You can't find me like a man. on their free will. Your power is gone. I'm afraid I'm the least of your worries. Divination will take care of you. You're gonna wish they had nightmares when she's done with them. You're in over your head, Joshua. You lying filth. Go to hell. Blind divination has opened the gateway. Hell is spilling out. We have to stop it. Daniel, no! You should have listened to Joshua. This is a one-way trip. Show yourself!
This is my house. This is my church. And I cast you out. Hi, honey. Um, I know this looks really weird, but Dee is, is my spirit guide now. Honey, you need to listen to me. No, no, no. We've been casting prosperity spells, and they've helped get rid of your nightmares. And Jess, I, I now know that I'm supposed to have visions. That they were tainted by fear, but that's, that's gone now. You don't have to do this. No. Spells have been helping you. Jess, could you let something into the house? You need to stop your spells and give me that book. book. No! It is better for us and our child that you listen to me. Jessica, listen to me! She cannot hear you anymore. Your wife and your child belong to me now. And you cannot have them. Permission. She has invited me into this house. And she has given me her child. Now you're lying. She never give up our child. Constantly impresses me how many people speak out loud without realizing the power of their words. She sealed a blood covenant. And blood finalizes everything. And I am thankful that I will finally have a son. I can't tell you how many thousands of years I have waited for a child. But don't worry. You can always make more. This is not your house any longer. And you lack the true authority. Sorry. You're sorry? What? That's it? Everything I love is going to hell. And you're sorry? How could you let this happen? I fell for a diversion. What? I screwed up. I screwed up. I'm not the perfect one. I can't save you. I've lost everything. Jason. I've been observing humans for thousands of years. There are two types of people, those that talk and those that do. If you really love her, then you would follow her barefoot into hell to save her. Jessica chose to open the gateway. I can't reverse her decision. Use your gifts. They will show you where the stronghold lies. Oh, Jessica signed a contract, all right, it's done. What did she sign it with? What? And it sounds like you need some of your own. Don't let her go.
have you been? I was starting to get worried. And Jessica, we need to talk. Okay. I need you to listen to me. I need you to get rid of that book. But why? It's gotten rid of your nightmares? It can help us in other ways too, Don't trust Jason. me. All right, this is dangerous. Throw it in the fire. What the hell? Blood finalizes everything. If I can't have a son, then you sure as hell can't either. away from this one, Joshua.
Jason, the gateway is gone. There's still one more. Here, follow me. You mind? Listen to me, I know you can hear me. You don't have to be a slave to fear anymore. Leave now. Why are you touching my face? I can't tell you how happy I am that you proved me wrong. Me too. What's going on? The Inner Council is meeting to discuss your migration. You've done it. Very soon you can retire and live with him. What's wrong? Tell them not to waste their time. I'm staying here. <laughs> what do you mean? Give my spot to somebody else. Give it to Daniel after he recovers. Why? This whole time, I've been trying so hard to earn his company. But now I understand where he lives. He dwells here with them, inside them. I love seeing him at work. And this is where I'm content. He's got amazing things planned for this family. Both Jason and Jessica understand the spirit realm better than anyone. Their kid is gonna have the best of both worlds. That's why this family is so special. I don't want to be any other place. All right. Your choice. Keep in touch. Come on.